Echter, Esther 5. Now it came to pass on the third day that Echter put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house, over against the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house, over against the gate of the house. And it was so, when the king saw Eth Ekter, the queen, standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight, and the king held out to Ekter Eth the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Ekter drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Then said the king unto her, what will you, Queen Ekter, and what is your request? It shall be even given you to the half of the kingdom. And Ekter answered, If it seem good unto the king, let the king and Charman, rather Haman, come this day unto the banquet that I have prepared for him. Then the king said, Cause Eth Haman to make haste, that he may do Eth as Echter has said. So the king and Haman came to the banquet that Echter had prepared. And the king said unto Echter at the banquet of wine, What is your petition? And it shall be granted you. At what is your request? Even to the half of the kingdom it shall be performed. Then answered Echter and said, My petition and my request is, If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it please the king to grant Eth my petition and to perform Eth my request, let the king and Haman come to the banquet that I shall prepare for them, and I will do tomorrow as the king has said. Then went Haman forth that day joyful and with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Eth Mordechai in the king's gate, that he stood not up, nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordechai. Nevertheless, Haman refrained himself, and when he came home, he sent and called Eth for his friends, and Eth Zeresh his woman, and Haman told them Eth of the glory of his riches, and the multitude of his children, and Eth all the things wherein the king had promoted him, and Eth how he had advanced him above the princes and servants of the king. Haman said, moreover, Yea, Echter, the queen, did let no man come in with the king unto the banquet that she had prepared but myself, and... Tomorrow am I invited unto her also with the king. Yet all this avails me nothing, so long as I see Eth Mordechai, the Yahudi, sitting at the king's gate. Then said Zeresh, his woman, and all his friends unto him, Let a gallows be made of fifty cubits high, and tomorrow speak unto the king Eth that Mordechai, may be hanged thereon. Then go in merrily with the king unto the banquet. And the thing pleased Haman, and he caused the gallows to be made.